for you? Damn. Scaring the fuck out of a nigga. First off, I'm going to shout out In Decline Kills. In Decline Kills on YouTube. Metal MMA on Twitter. Follow at Metal MMA. Corona Familia on deck. 32 ounce is what it is. Hold on. Shit, man. I feel like typing an email to somebody. Dear Ben, no. Dear Benson Henderson or Frankie. Frankie, that sound weird. Nigga, for the rest of the video, your name is fucking Frank. You're a grown ass man, my nigga. Looking like fucking a midget version, Bobby's World. <laughs> Frankie Edgar's fucking Bobby from Bobby's World. Dun, 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 lo, 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 lo. Everybody telling me they want that raw. They want that in the weeds type video. I'm about to do it right now. Fuck it. They don't like the cuts. I like the cuts. The cuts is funny to me. It is what it is, what it ain't, what it's gonna breathe. Check it. Oh, damn. Man, I didn't get down my email. Hold up. All right. Dear Benson Henderson or Frank Edgar, get ready for a 209 beatdown. Nate Diaz is ready for you stupid mother iPhone 78G over... Damn, man. I hope that shit didn't break, man. I, I took my otter box off. I like the phone's technique. I like the physicalities of my fucking iPhone 3 million 8 7G. Once again, shout out in Decline Kills. Shout out at Metal MMA. Shout out Bloodstained Lane. Shout out uh, at Front Row Brian. Nate Diaz... Gets the next title shot for the lightweight UFC strap. Nate Diaz is going to do his thing. And I'm going to break down pretty much why Nate Diaz is the man to hold the belt. He's not as outspoken as Nick Diaz for one. So he, I, I think his attitude may be a little bit better than Nick Diaz. Like I love, I love Nick Diaz's attitude. That's kind of how I am. But, you know what I'm saying, Nate Diaz is more, like, they always say, play the game. I don't think Nate Diaz plays the game, but he's just more of a, uh, he's not as sour. He, he, he's not, a, he's not as, a salty fucking spoon of, uh, yeah, for uh, Dana White and the Fertitas and the UFC, fuck Zufa LSC, to take. This is the reason why Nate Diaz is going to win the belt from whoever wins out of Benson Henderson and Frankie Edgar. For one, Benson Henderson, I'm calling you to win the fight. Just for the fact that I think that you're wrestling. I think your aggressiveness on the two-leg, uh, the double-leg shot. And I think that you're not going to uh, pretty much give in to just standing up with Frankie Edgar, how a lot of people end up doing with him because he's so fucking side-to-side, -side, bouncing around and using head movement and everything like that. I think that he's going to still fight his fight, almost how, uh, Ch like, Chael Son and Anderson Silva the first time around and even the second time around. He's going to be stuck in his ways, and he's going to try to scoop him up, take him down, pound him out, you know what I'm saying, it is what it is. But at the same time, Frankie Edgar is somewhat of a good striker. I think I, I give him the edge on the stand-up, against uh, Benson Henderson. I call him Frankie, nigga. I said I wasn't going to do that. Damn. Anyway, I think Frank Edgar has the uh, the edge on the stand-up. <sighs> Damn, the spirit of in the weeds just got into me, homie. <laughs> Either or. Nate Diaz has this. I look at it from if if Benderson Hen, or damn Benderson, <laughs> nigga. That's how you know your name's stupid, nigga. When I first heard of you, your name was Ben. Now it's Benson, nigga. 
I don't even know if that's the right fucking music for the fucking TV show, Benson. Anyway, Benson Henderson has great takedowns. He has great wrestling. He's quick. He has decent stand-up. However, I think that the recklessness of his double leg and pretty much trying to get the clinch to get the takedown, I think that he's not that good on the ground. He's a wrestler, but I think he's going to be not that good on the ground to where he will be submitted by a Nate Diaz by triangle. Like, Nate Diaz slaps on triangles like fucking uh, fat people slap on fucking Krispy Kreme donuts at fucking 7 a.m. in the morning. Breakfast time? No, not really. Anyhow, from that, if it stays standing up and Benson Henderson does stand up for uh, with Nate Diaz... It's going to be hell. It's going to be fucking holy hell for Benson Henderson because the way it is, like, he's been dropped. Like, Frankie Edgar dropped him the first fight. Uh, Frankie Edgar is somewhat of a good hand stand-up dude. However, I think Nate Diaz is more on point. He's more precise with his strikes, with the hands. <clears throat> and if Frankie Edgar, if fucking uh, Bobby from Bobby's World can drop uh, Benson Henderson... I'm pretty sure those short jabs and shots by fucking uh, Nate Diaz will take its uh, toll. And he will end up wearing them down and get the knockout within three rounds if it stays standing up. If not, if he goes reckless and tries to get the takedown, he will get submitted. As far as Frankie Edgar winning, I don't think that that's going to happen. However, if it stays standing up with the Frankie Edgar fight, if that is the fight that, that takes place... I think that uh, Frankie Edgar is going to be jumping around, moving side to side, head movement and all that. But I'm thinking that like Nate Diaz isn't going to give in to the whole fucking uh, dance, the whole dance show, fucking caboodles and fucking line dancing bullshit that you, Frankie Edgar, are going to do, Jersey Shore. Yo, fist pump, DJ Paulie, fuck you. But, like I said, if it, if it stays as a stand-up game, with Nate Diaz versus Frankie Edgar, I think Frankie Edgar is going to be like, boom, 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 boom. He's going to be Speedy Gonzalez, Speedy Gon fucking uh, Jersey Shore. All around the ring, I think that Nate Diaz isn't going to respect that. He's not going to fall into like, oh, shit, let me fucking trap him. Let me fucking get him in the fucking Speedy Gonzalez corner. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to trap him. However, I think he's just going to be like, he probably just going to fucking stand in the middle of the ring like what? Like, what the fuck? Like, what are, you, are you kidding me? Are you serious with this shit? And like fucking flick him off a couple times. Be like, yo, fucking, you came to fight. Let's fucking fight. And I think that in that, he's not, pretty much, he's not going to chase him down. He's going to be like, okay, you know what? Yeah, that's your style or whatever, but I'm not going to chase you down. I'm not going to fucking... Like, uh, I'm not going to uh, give out my energy and chasing you down and running after you. I'm going to talk shit while you fucking going side to side, bouncing up and down. And then Frankie Edgar's going to have to come in on him. On the way in, I think he's going to fucking catch him with those fucking jabs, those fucking, those fucking hammies, those fucking cheesecake factories, those fucking, those sticks, those sticks with bricks at the end. I think that's going to happen. And ultimately, he's going to uh, knock him out. Within three rounds, two rounds, I say two rounds, if it does stay as a stand-up fight. On the ground, I don't think Frankie Edgar is that tough at all, truthfully. Like, I don't think Frankie Edgar, Frank, nigga, damn, I said that already. I don't think Frank Edgar is crazy on the ground. So if it does go to the ground, I think that Nate Diaz will fucking pretty much submit him like butter. Slice the butter with the hot fucking, nigga, this, nigga, this knife is hot as fuck. It's going to be that easy. Murder on the ground. If it goes to the ground, standing up, he's not going to give in to the whole chasing him around like a fucking cat and mouse game, and he's going to fucking pick him apart on his way in and knock out. Eh, that's pretty much my whole thing. Like I said, Benson, Benson Henderson, Frank Edgar, get ready for a 209-style ass-whooping. Diaz Brothers all day. This shirt's fucking fire as fuck. Who doesn't like that, nigga? The, and one thing I will say, up the bat next will have to be Anthony Pettis. Anthony Pettis is a great fucking fighter. Uh, 
truthfully, Anthony Pettis is the best fight for Nate Diaz. I don't want it to happen, but it probably will happen just for the fact that after Nate takes his fucking well-deserved title, that pretty much Anthony Pettis is great from his back. I think we haven't seen much from fucking his top position in jiu-jitsu, but he he has the he has the frame, he's quick, he's young, and he's good at fucking what he does. So Anthony Pettis will probably be up next to uh discredit the fucking Diaz brothers. However, like I said, I'm a huge fan of Anthony Pettis. Uh so, of course, I'm going to have Nate Diaz in that fight. Another thing that people are going to say, oh, shit, uh, in the fight, what about uh, the clinch work? Nate Diaz showed crazy clinch work against uh, Jim Miller. And I think that Nate Diaz will fucking be even better than what he was because that was my whole thing in the clinch. Jim Miller's going to fucking destroy him because he's a bigger fucking 155. But you saw differently. Fucking clinch, fucking uppercuts, uppercuts, fucking jab and fucking out. Nate Diaz did a great job in that. I think that Nate Diaz is the fucking man at 155. Uh, I know he's cool with uh, his homeboy, uh, Gilbert uh, El Nino Melendez, but I hope that that fight will never happen. Uh, shout out, once again, Bloodstain Lane, Front Row Brian. Rest in peace to the fucking In The Weeds channel. I'm drinking this now. It is what it is. Uh, what else we gonna do here, huh? What else we gonna do here, huh? Make sure you follow me on Twitter, at Mr. Famous Face. Like I said, follow Metal MMA. If you're retarded and you can't... I'm not gonna say the word. No, I'm not using it. If you're uh, less talented with the uh, spellings... It's M-E-T-A-L-M-M-A on Twitter. Make sure you follow him for me. Make sure you follow Mr. Famous Face. Once again, shout out Bloodstained Lane, Front Row Brian on the fucking Twitter thing. And it is what it is. I mean, shit. 209, Nate Diaz about to do his motherfucking thing no matter what the fuck you... Like, it's done now. It's etched in stone. <laughs> Dana White said it's gonna happen, so that means it has to happen, right? Right? <laughs>